So how old were you when you stopped uh, banging on about it? Uh, back, I was about 24. Also quite late then. Yeah, quite late. I started drinking around that time. <laughs> <laughs> Which came first? <laughs> Which came first? I should have lined up better. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah, I was, I was, I was considering in the pub. I remember <laughs> it's hard in hand. to believe in Allah on a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> it's really difficult. Thing is, Friday is Moss Day, but it's also great down the boozer after work. Um, yeah, basically, it was just years and years of just. <clears throat> okay, the tr- basic. The truth is, after nine eleven, a lot of people were really serious about. Islam and stuff and I just couldn't be bothered with the stress and I was just like no it's not for me you've already chopped a bit of my dick off without my consent oh did they do that with you lot as well yeah yeah. yeah. Um, and then <laughs> alcohol's just better isn't it and bacon better than not having alcohol yeah 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 on a, on a slightly serious note so just to qu- qualify that 9-11 thing what do you like what do you mean what do you mean like everyone was serious anti-Muslim or in the both. Muslim community both, got both. serious yeah, yeah yeah there was a lot of like god these white people are fucking shit aren't they I'm like well yeah they are but we don't have to kill them right they're alright aren't they <clears throat> so there was a lot of that going on so you sort of just step back and be like yeah. this is between y'all yeah it's not Your for Homer me. Simpson they just straight into the bush yeah 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 basically came out with a patent <laughs> <laughs> and how were your parents with it well, my mum's dead. Uh, she's so she was all right. right. Yeah, she's, she's fine. A bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was that anything to do with 9-11? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. She was flying on a <laughs> Yes! <laughs> <laughs> sing, Hosanna, sing. Uh, yes. Well, we know what episode's getting us in trouble. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, yep. And then, <laughs> you know, every time I'm with him, right, we get on like a fucking house on fire. I don't see you that often, but we're yeah. always, we, we, we try it, and make each other laugh. Like a tower on fire. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God, oh, come don't, on, Dan. No, that's really Dan, Dan so, sorry, sorry. For fuck's fuck. sake. <laughs> yeah, the mic's like. Oh, dear. Sorry, guys. Oh, Dan Jamal, shut so, up. So, this is a true story. I, I've told this story on uh, another podcast I did with. Another comic recently, but I don't think I've. To- <laughs> Sorry, I don't think. I'm so it's funny you didn't say the name. <laughs> I don't think I've told it on this podcast. So, was it last year or the year before? Edinburgh. Last year. So, 2019 Edinburgh Fringe Festival. <coughs> it's the night of the Dave Party. Now, for those on a uninitiated with the Edinburgh Festival, the Dave Party is run by the TV show Dave. And they pay for a free bar. It's invite only, but if you're invited, as many drinks as you want. And I was doing late and live. Same night, right? It's always dangerous, that, isn't it? A oh. free bar followed by late, late really a late gig. gig. At 3 a.m. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> me, Eshan Akbar, Thomas Green, and Ed Hedges all together at the Dave party. And I was like, I've got to do late and live. And they were like, that'd be funny as fuck. Let's go over there. Yeah. So they come with me. Now, we used to play a game at Hot Water. And I tried to get them involved with it that night. So I went, right, I, look, let's have a bet. You all give me a word. If I get it into me set, then you've got to buy me a pint. And if I don't, I've got to buy you one. And you've got to get the word in, in context in a sentence. You can't just like say it. Say it, yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. So it's got to make sense in the yeah. I yeah. think Ed gave me like, <coughs> I can't remember what the words were. Ed gave me, you know, platypus and Thomas Green said hot dog, whatever. What did you give me? I said packies. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know which button to do. <laughs> But I'm just going to go. Oh, now, explain yeah. to Dan the second level to that bet okay. that you gave it. So I said, get that word into everyone's howling. And I had 200 quid in my pocket, had a very good Uber shift that night. <laughs> I, said to, I said to Adam, listen. I said to him. <laughs> this, is, this is one of our favourite ones ever. <laughs> We're only 23 minutes in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I said to Adam, <coughs> if you get that word in, <clears throat> that's fine. I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> but if you want this 200 quid, I want you to go on stage and say, any English in? <laughs> Any Scots in? <laughs> Any Pakistan? <laughs> 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 Mate, 
Do you know why? Do you know why I know he didn't? Do you know why I know he? you didn't have to give him 200 quid? Because if he did that, I'd have already heard this story. And not from him. <laughs> Probably from one of the national newspapers. If I had two more drinks in me, I think I would have done it. But it's a good job I didn't. Because that night, I was <coughs> very, very drunk. And the promoter, Fred, I had to apologise to her the next night because I was like, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry that uh, I was just so she, Fred is one of the sounder people in comedy. She and she's had that apology before. <laughs> you know when I got yeah, to you're gig, not the first person yeah, to be drunk at 45 a.m. <laughs> Well, I walked on stage that night and went to do my Victoria's Secret Museum, but a very clunky version of it. So I walked on stage when fat people are starting to get fucking annoying, aren't they? And a girl with, like, dyed pink hair on the front row went, Define fat? And I went, Me and a butt. <laughs> Do you know what? Do you know what? In that situation, that's a great answer. That is amazing. Oh, it shut it down completely. But the best part about it was because they knew, because all the comics in the loft bar knew what he'd challenged me to do. There was a, you know, the side of Late and Live. There's there was, a bit, there was yeah. about 15 comics, including Marlon Davis, who has got the most distinctive laughing comedy. It's more distinctive than Jimmy Carr, once yeah, you know yeah, it, innit? Yeah. And when that girl went, <laughs> to find that, and I went, me and above, you just stay man and go, <laughs> You know, something interesting is happening at a gig like Late and Live when there's 15, 20 comedians all down the side. Yeah. Just like with it. that look of expectancy yeah. in their what eyes, is like, happen oh, next, yeah. oh, funny. Uh, late <gasps> and live, times. sneaky, not as rock and roll as it used to be, and it's late and it's drunk. But you're also, t you know, there's comedy fans, but they don't know as much as you think yeah, they might yeah. know. And then you've got people going, "I actually, I'm in the arts, so I know what's woke and what's not," and that's yeah. disgusting. It's it's actually a weirdly tricky gig. It's dead late. People are hammered, but also like I think I saw Marcus Birdman, who's one of the nicest guys in comedy, get called a racist, and you're like, "Oh, oh for the God. love of fuck!" I've said oh, this before, probably on our show. The later and more drunk people get, the more easier it is to offend them, because certainly with with good provocative comedy you're you're dancing on the line aren't you mm, yeah and if you've written it the right way i'm not talking at a new material night where anyone can cross the line and you know you're trying to work out where the joke mm. is anyway but once you know your routine the idea is you're dancing along the line and you look like you're going to step over but you're not going to and if you're listening if you're watching that comic and listening properly if they've written the routine mm. right you can't get offended because if you listen to every word, there's nothing to be really upset yeah, by. Totally. But if you're not listening to every word, yeah. even the most perfectly written routine <clears throat> that dances right along that line, if you miss a few words and go, hang on, did he just say something about this? No, yeah. all you the, hear the context trigger word, is gone, you? yeah. Exactly, they had <clears throat> a word. Like the late show at the store in London starts at 11 o'clock at night. And you, sometimes if you close it, you're on stage at half one. And there's people falling asleep and tired and very drunk and they've been out all day and they're not concentrating as much and that, that's the show that people get more people think like late's gonna be yeah, really like it's edgy. late it's live it's day anything can yeah. happen apart from most things, things you know yeah, yeah. comedy can happen and it has to be within these restrictions yeah. if you're having a debate with someone if you're discussing something if you it's so much easier when they're sober and they can listen even if they completely disagree with you, you can reason with them. It's it, it, if they're drunk, it's harder, and they're latching onto a word or something. That is true. Pass me, just pass me some blue roll, please. That that is true. But I've also had to debate sober Muslims before, and some of them are fucking thick. Well, we're not talking about Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. What's happening? You have a spill. Just You're right. Just getting it. I'm. Do you know what? I'm really comfortable. This got, that fan is great. Got your own little fan. Thank you. Hey, you really look after the guests. So I appreciate that. Yeah. You're welcome. You You're look welcome. like the as well, don't you? Oh. <laughs> From Essex, yeah, we do. <laughs> I was white this morning. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna cross the line on this episode. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> gonna <laughs> have a few you words. You bring it out to me. You know, there's not another person you, in the world right. who I want it. There are so many people who say this to me that you make me be racist. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? Because you asked me to go on stage and ask if there was any packies in there, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Just put that bit. <laughs> Out of context, have a word. <laughs> 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 
Jesus Christ. 